everybody welcome back to our channel the title of this video was supposed to be hot dog cart gets a facelift or hot dog cart gets some TLC or hot dog cart slow season maintenance or something like that but what it really is gonna be is like watch a hot dog vendor learn hard lessons so that you don't have to because I swear it's just kind of the nature of the business. Nothing ever really goes according to plan. I mean, this this business, this industry is all just trial and error and it gets really frustrating and it gets really old, but it is what it is. And I'm here to do all the dumb stuff so that you can just see the stuff that worked and you can just only do the stuff that worked. So um, here goes. We'll show you everything that we did and lessons that we learned the hard way, unfortunately. I tried to get as many good shots of what we were doing as possible and there was a couple hiccups that we ran into, so I'll try to make the video edit make sense. But um, another thing I wanted to share with you guys is kind of some of the products that we use on a regular basis that just make our job easier. Like it's gonna be stuff that you wouldn't necessarily expect or stuff that maybe you are already using. Some stuff that I always keep handy to make uh, fixing the hot dog cart easier and maintenance and cleaning and that kind of thing. So I will try to link all of the products in the video description so that you guys can purchase these things for yourselves if you need to. Most of the stuff is purchased on Amazon, some of it from hardware stores, Sam's Club, stuff like that. Hope you like the video. minor work on the hot dog cart today well feels minor but it's really kind of major it's stuff that just kind of wear and tear and over the course of a couple of years it gets dirty and needs repainting and refinishing on certain things so um it's naked <laughs> it looks super funny to me without the canopy on it but it's there we painted the um, propane cylinders that like chrome color looking paint and I think it looks awesome. So I'm really excited about that because it just doesn't look so dirty um, all the time or like, I don't know, it has those like terrible blue ugly peeling labels on it. So I just took them off and uh, painted them. I don't know if that's legal. Somebody will let me know, I guess, if it's not. So here we go.
feeling it's not because you're broken, but because of the metal. We kind of have to take hot dog cart maintenance in small bites because we don't usually have enough time between events to be able to get a whole lot done so I've been kind of chugging away at this for the last couple of weeks there's not a whole whole lot that we did but a couple things um, so I'll try to show you the details let me show you what we did in the last couple of weeks so here's 
here she is all nice and cleaned up I got these propane tanks painted with like a nice chrome paint I just used Ace Hardware brand metallic spray paint on these and it turned out really nice. I mean, especially compared to what they used to look like. I just think it gives the whole thing a more professional look instead of those ugly white canisters with like the blue labels. I think it looks a whole lot better now. I used that same paint on these poles. We use these as like a telescoping stand for the canopy and they just get kind of beat up over the year and they just need some periodic repainting. So that's kind of a process because we have to get it out of where they're mounted. These are kind of really secure to weld so that they don't break off while we're driving. We took the tires off, cleaned all that red dirt off there and replaced it with red paint. <laughs> As you can see, we missed a little bit of taping there and spray painted the tires so I think it gives them kind of a cool look. It was pretty chipped and I think these red rims really make a huge difference on the, the whole appearance of the car. It just makes it pop. So I thought about repainting the canopy this time but just didn't really have the couple of days that it would have taken me to get it done so I decided we're gonna save that for next year. I had planned on replacing my lights in here because they were broken from just lots of use and abuse and I made a fatal mistake and put them in the wrong position. As you can see, these posts rest directly on these stands and I had the lights strung right here so we set the canopy down and uh, broke that strip of lights immediately so we removed them all and ordered a longer one and i think next time around we're just going to try to maybe place them up here so that they look um, kind of backlit and i'm hoping for better luck with that next uh, light strip so whoops this part's gonna be a little bit less exciting, but it is stuff that we had to get done. During storage, this little hole, if it's not covered completely, really uh, takes in a lot of dirt. So we had to clean all the dirt and grime out of there. And I mean, as you can see, you can only do so much because the elements are really hard on it. So but got all of my cords straightened out and zip tied. You can kind of see um, my charger is here. So I plug that in, which charges the battery and the battery is plugged into this inverter. The inverter is what we plug everything into, including lights, which are lonely right now because they don't have anything to plug into, but we'll get that solved later. There's a phone charger down there, water pump and all the other good stuff. So it's much, much cleaner than it was before. I do not have a before picture because it is way too embarrassing to show. It's terrible. This is one that really doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but does need to be done periodically. As you can see, my plexiglass is cracked to hell, but it is still intact, so the health department is okay with it. These little tiny stainless steel nuts on the back of these screws like to wiggle themselves loose and for the most part we check on them every couple of weeks to make sure that they're tight but sometimes we lose them those are what's holding in these little screws here to make sure that this plexiglass frame stays together and firm and that this uh, trim stays on it so that we are able to effectively close and latch our enclosed compartment, which is a requirement in the state of California. So that's another thing we did this time. These latches are kind of notorious for coming undone, so we just put our little clips in there to keep them extra safe. My husband lubed this guy up because it was totally seized up and I could barely even open it before. Now it's nice and movable, which is great. Another thing that might not seem like that big of a deal is these little rubber knobbies. 
we work with a lot of little kids and it's kind of just at that level where toddlers will whack their head on that corner and it's just not something I'm interested in risking is having a little kid crack their head open on my facility and having to be rushed to the hospital for stitches and having them remember us that way forever. So I just keep those little plastic knobs on there and replace them periodically because they do fall off and get yellow and ugly and it just makes things a little bit more comfortable for me. I have peace of mind knowing that these kids aren't gonna hurt themselves and whacking their head on this little corner.